I'm Chris. And I'm Gina. And, and we, we are Hollywood Hunters. extra detail. I'm making little pieces right here. Slide those puppies in. Then I'm taking this piece right here and I'm going to make a mark. Hey, you're not using a measuring tape. I don't, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. I was, I'm totally kidding. I was like, <laughs> I'm just eyeballing it, babe, but okay. Hey, that's faster. That's right, like the so, hunter way. Hey, we're finally doing it the hunter way. <laughs> I just pulled out some nails or staples out of those. Good for you. So that you could continue to saw. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. We set up two two little saws for her, <laughs> one going each direction. So. <laughs> but I keep ending up using the other one because I think I keep flipping the piece. <laughs> darn it. Hey, it works, it works, right? Hey, it works. I, I was using both of them the other day too. Yeah. Let's yeah. see if I, let's see if this one is perfection. <laughs> Was All it? right. Oh, Everybody here's the, place here's the... your bets. Place your bets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Oh. oh those of you who said not. Because it's in and it's good. Nice. Woo! Like perfect. Like perfect. Sweet. I'm getting ready. I'm going to put this little uh, tiny round over on here. I think it's like a half inch round over. And then uh, put it in here and you round it over. Straight. So you come over to this saw. <laughs> There's a straight <laughs> saw. <laughs> so we got saws galore. <laughs> hey, whatever's faster. Hey. Although I, you know, I will. Like you got him. I, I will tell you this though. What? I've been getting a lot of exercise and walking all the way to that straight saw though. Oh, the five steps over there. Hey, it adds up after Poor a whole day. Hey, for all you guys that, that wonder if we work on a budget, no. <laughs> hey, but we are resourceful because this is we're using trellis. Old trellis. So. There was many. A, there was many a tomatoes that grew on those pieces of wood. Yeah, like twenty feet high. Yeah. What else grew on them? Um. Well, on the trellis, maybe beans, cucumbers. And then once so. I took them apart, I put them back behind the fence, and skunks used them for a little. Uh, they don't smell though, but the skunks were using them. They were. Yeah, they were walking around. I think you're telling stories, Chris. No, they did. They I mean, did. we had skunks. They in were the hiding yard, back in there. They were hiding in the. It's like a little den. Whatever. You <laughs> liar. Man, it's like a pro. You guys are gonna get tired of me cutting. I got a lot of them to do. <laughs> you just sit here and watch me all afternoon. I'm gonna film the all whole time. Day. Not, oh, okay. I'm taking a little break. What? Gina made me some barbecue chicken today for lunch, so I'm eating some. How's it going out here? You're still eating? Yeah! Oh, you haven't had this done yet? Oh, man! Man! Huh? It's looking good, though. Yeah, it does look good. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? You think it's uh, better with it? Or I'm not going to tell you their honest opinion. Better without. I'm thinking without no, for the no, work no. reasons, but no, for uh, work reasons, I agree with you. yeah, it's cool though because all this you know didn't cost us any extra money to do this added detail stuff. We just had to tear up more of Gina's garden. That's okay. I think it looks good though. It's free. Well, I'm gonna go have another beer break, and I'll uh, be here uh, 
Yeah, hopefully you can get this banged out tonight. I'll bring a flashlight out for you too so you can have that when you start. Yeah, the sun's going down. <laughs> okay, so now that all the uh, decorative trim in the inside of the boxes is finished, I am working on the holes for the where the lights are going to be, the light placement. And I started out uh, making like a little cheater block and uh, it is basically like six inches wide and then I have a little center line. And what I was doing was I was just putting it every six inches and making my mark. And then, you know, thinking that was a really cool, fast way of doing it. And then it also works obviously this way too. But uh, because my squares aren't perfect, uh, I am still going through and double checking with a measuring tape. And they're, they're off just a little bit. And what I'm doing is making sure that I'm center uh, and then, uh, all, then centering the second hole in between. But I'm really honestly just concerned about the lights being straight in each row going, you know, all the way across. Uh, the only place where it's a little closer than six inches is from this one to this one. But, I mean, eyeballing this thing when it's all up and going, it's going to look just fine. Uh, and I'm using a quarter inch bit just to start my hole. Uh, I'm going to obviously have to drill like probably an inch bigger. I'm using, uh, uh, actually using a plexi bit, uh, drill bit. They're really nice because they have a sharp point on there, but it's, you know, it's meant for plastic. But works really good for this. We have a roof piece up in place right now, and this one actually has all the holes all drilled. Uh, the blue tape, the ones that have the blue tape on it, those, those are actually the holes that I drilled and it hit framing. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. I'll probably just, uh, you know, be able to bypass it with the wire going around the frame, but I just wanted to kind of mark them. Or we could just leave them uh, without bulbs, and those could be like our missing dummy sockets you know that have the the bulbs missing because this is a rundown old theater so I mean we got a couple options there I'm excited to get these all up and see what this looks like still haven't finished the ticket booth that's what's going to be supporting this middle section uh, I just have this dummy stick clamped in place I've got to put some coffin locks in there to lock the the ceiling pieces together because we won't be able to get to the top side of this once it's in place because the ceiling of the venue will be right there within a few inches so one real cool thing to point out about this roundover trim that we put inside these squares is gina had this brilliant idea of using the bottom that uh, had been eaten away at those uh little three quarter inch pieces of trellis to she wanted to use them as uh, extra detail to kind of look like they're old she did it in a couple spots there and there and there, and also there, right there. And look, that whole piece is missing completely. And even up there, shoot, this thing looks like it's falling apart already. We won't even have to age it. Okay, so now that I have all the holes drilled, I flip this flat over and you'll notice all these little quarter inch staples sticking through. Now, I wanna make it safe, so I could just hammer them over, but I still run the risk of snagging clothes or fingers, that kind of thing on there. And I, last thing I'd want is, what's this? What's this? What are you doing down there? Careful. That was my Walking Dead impression, was it good? Oh, well, you fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, if you have any zombies, you definitely don't need to worry about them snagging their fingers on some nails. So maybe I shouldn't worry about cutting these off. But in case you have a wife that has little fragile fingers, you'll want to file these little staples down. So to do that, I'm going to use these two grinders. Now, one of them has a cutoff wheel, which gets rid of them faster, but it tends to really dig into the wood if you're not careful. And then the other one is a polishing wheel. This one's kind of wore out. But this one's really nice for making it super smooth and stuff. Now it takes a little bit longer if you just use this. So I'm probably going to use this one to cut them down as fast as I can. And then go through and just smooth everything out with this one. So I'm going to get started on that right now. I'll show you guys.
Okay, so now that I got all the staples all ground off, now what I'm gonna do, many of you have seen me do before in other videos, is I'm gonna add some nailing blocks on the inside of the flats up there on the roof. As I screw through the wall flats, the top of them, it'll go through this Luon right here, and then instead of just only have grabbing onto this Luon, it's gonna grab onto this one by three. So right now I'm gonna glue this and shoot it in together. 